everyone and welcome back to the Beach Channel. We're talking everything real estate with me, Lucy DeMeo, and I have, I'm so excited, a Sicilian on the show, Carlo Di Pasquale. Hello, thank Hello, you for coming Alice. on. Thank you for having me. I feel bad because I, I forgot to introduce Mumu. I mean, she's the star of the show, so Mumu's here and she seems to be more interested in Carlo, so she's gonna sit well, with I you. Well, I love dogs, so. <laughs> I guess she, she knows, feels it. She knows, she feels it. So, you're big time in real estate. I mean, we were just chatting. We shouldn't be chatting on and off because we should have the, the real conversation here, but you're, you're big time in real estate. So tell me about yourself. I have been in real estate for uh, almost 22 years. I've been wow. living in Miami Beach. You don't look old enough. Well, I've been here. I've moved here, you know, when I was still a kid. So yeah. I've been here for two, when I, uh, from Miami Beach uh, in the last 26 years. Wow. And uh, I, when I moved to Miami, I was uh, I had a diplomatic career because I was working for the general counsel of wow. Italy. And then after that, I transitioned to real estate because I found that that was my passion. And also because I found it way more interesting than doing basically an office job. Yeah. And I've been passionate ever since. I love, I love risk because I was... Um, I started as an investor myself because I was buying uh, units and selling and buying units for myself. So yeah. I, I had a realtor at the, at the time. Hmm. And so, and uh, and uh, I liked it so much that I decided to get a real estate license and my realtor became my broker. That's so interesting. So, yeah, How it's, cool is that? It is, yeah. Did you find that your diplomatic background kind of gave you a head start in the real estate world? Uh, it definitely exposed me to uh, a, a a clientele that was uh, the correct one because yeah. the first clients I've ever had, you know, in real estate that I sold real estate to were the diplomats that I was working with. And then, uh, um, and then of course, you know, you, the real estate is all about database. So that helped me, you know, create a database. Yeah. I, I knew all the Italian community because I was issuing passport for them and, and uh, all, all sorts of documents. And so I kept the database and then that's it's all about handy. that's all it's about. Yeah. Did you find it was more it was easier when you first started to how it is now or it's more because me personally, I, I, I find it difficult because there's so many realtors here in Florida. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, there's always been a lot of realtors. Uh, it was I found that the market uh, then is different than the market today, and it will keep uh, will keep on evolving and 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 keep on being different. So whatever yeah. worked, let's say, uh, 20 years ago, it doesn't necessarily work today. So you need yeah. to evolve. So you have to evolve with the market, which is what makes the business interesting. You never it really does. You never know you, what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen. You the techniques, the the way of marketing a property, the way of Promoting a property is completely different than what uh, yeah. they used to be 20 years yeah. ago. So, yeah. Well, everything's social media now. I'm just looking at your listing. I mean, this is a mega, mega mansion. Yeah. So, tell me about it. This is a house in uh, Miami Beach. It's in Miami Beach, an area called Biscayne Point. Okay. Which is a gated community. Um, it's only a limited number of houses. This house in particular is sitting on three lots. <laughs> Uh, and so it's sitting on a lot that is 33,750 square feet. Wow. And the house is 14,060 <sighs> square feet. That, uh, what makes the house uh, very interesting is the fact that it's uh, 225 feet on, le on the water, of linear oh waterfront. Oh my, is this the entrance? Yeah, so... Um, so you could have a mega, mega yacht. You can have a mega yacht and also uh, it can accommodate up to 28 cars. 28 cars? 28 cars without even blocking the driveway. So it was a uh, house that was built. Oh my God. Yeah, not as a spec home, but has a house for the owner. Can you take me to see to it? Can I have a want. private view in? I'd love Anytime it. Anytime you want. It was perfect for hosting. It is perfect for hosting events, and that's why the yeah. owner built it because he was uh, a businessman that was hosting a lot of events. We had an event for the boat show, wow. so we had people arriving on their yacht, on their yacht, and and the event was indoor and outdoor. So he has a big outdoor space with an outdoor kitchen. Uh, we actually hired a DJ, so there was a, a complete separate area for the DJ that was covered. It's another world. It's a different world. Yeah. And so, and it is a seven bedroom, eight bathrooms, and plus two half bathroom, but plus a, a, a gym, plus movie theater, plus oh, wow. a, a den, plus yeah. library. So you can easily convert it into a 10 bedroom house. And for a listing like this, how, I mean, how do you get a listing like this? To all the people that are starting out, I mean, this is like as, as, as good as it gets. 
yeah, I mean, I know the uh, the owners. Yeah. All and the, of course. Well, I'm you're Italian, Sicilian. I mean, you're you have the the suave. I mean, you have the gift <laughs> of the the gab, yeah. as we say in England. Yeah, I like the term. <laughs> yeah. Um, and of course, it's like uh, it takes. You know, I've been in real estate for many years. So of course the listings that I was getting was getting you know when I first got in real estate were completely different than the ones of course, I get now. Yeah. But I, there was also to say that when I first started, um, I you know I have a lot of listings for condos as well. The condos that you have today didn't even exist. You know, that you know yeah. they they were not even built. So the caliber of listings that we had was completely different because all these luxury properties have been built in the last ha- yeah. 10, 20 years. Yeah. But when I first started, they, wouldn't, they didn't even exist. So even if you wanted to get a huge listing, you just couldn't. they were so limited. Yeah, I mean, look at the artwork. Yeah. Is, is everything, in, is it negotiable to be included or, or not? Is, it, the, is this a stage, Tom? Nope, it's actually the owner moved out recently and uh, the house is sold. The furniture is negotiable <sighs> and some artwork um, uh, is negotiable too. Wow. Yeah. That's insane. And what's the price? The price is twenty nine million nine hundred and ninety nine. So cheap. So cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. And even if you wanted to like uh, rebuild a house like this, it would not be possible because uh, it was built in two thousand and eight. So the setbacks back in, in two thousand and eight were different than what they are right. now. So the setback would be different. You would not be able to have such a big. Uh, entrance. So that makes it obviously extended, more desirable. Exactly, which makes it more desirable. I love the the movie theater because it's not just your regular movie theater like everyone always does. Like even just the colors. Yep. Is so different. It almost looks like not like nautical, like boat boat. What? It look, exactly, exactly. That's a good uh, remark because also you can see. Um, there are a lot of uh, details and features on the house. Yeah. They remind you like of a interior of a boat because there's yeah. so much wood and uh, throughout the house and the wood actually extends in some, some areas of the ceilings. The ceilings can go all the way up to 24 feet in the living room. Wow. Um, yeah. And, and so, and, and so the, the previous owner built it and lived in for it? For himself, yep. Yep. For sure. All the other uh, houses on the island, the island is, uh, you know, as you know, Miami and Miami Beach are growing at the speed of light pretty yeah. much. So people are discovering new neighborhoods that... Is there a HOA because it's a private no, community? No, no, there's no HOA uh, in the island. And th- th- now that our, this is being the biggest house on the island, because it's three lots, uh, yeah. it's the most expensive. However, there are other houses on the market for uh, 15, 17, 18 million. And they're sitting on lots that are three times smaller either 11,500 square feet of the biggest lot is 13,000. And the houses are also three times smaller, about yeah. 5,000 square feet. Yeah. This I'm, is 14,000. I so. mean, like you said, this is for someone that's a mega car person. Because, yeah. I mean, what house can you have in Miami that, that can have 28, uh, 28 cars without blocking the garage? 28. Yeah, 28 yeah. is not normal. And a big... And a then someone yard. that's a big, you know, a big entertainer. Oh, and yeah. the, the gym, they have like the Pilate, everything. They have a full gym. They're actually the main uh, feature of the house is the kitchen, because it has uh, three on top of the, in addition to the regular wow. fridge, he has uh, three industrial walk-in fridges, all stainless steel. Walk-in? So you open up, you walk <gasps> inside those three massive fridges. So you can tell that it was, That's it was built up for entertainment. Have you had an open house? How long has it been on the market? It's been on the market since uh, the really end of December. We listed it after Oh, so Christmas. not long at all then? No, but it was listed for 36. Of course, you always come up with a you know yeah. a number and then yeah. you adjust the price. We had open houses and we had um, Sunset Soiree and we also had an uh, event for the Bolt Show. Uh, and and it is incredible for for to have to you host had any events. offers? Um, we actually got one, and so of course we can't disclose the the, of the, the thing, but of we course, had one. Yeah. Uh, but also because it's a lack of inventory because it's so difficult there to re- find a house to stay. I know. I mean, look at this. It's stunning. Yeah, this is an outdoor gym. <laughs> It's just a different world. It reminds me of something from James Bond. Yeah. I mean, I think this has to be like a mega, mega star. It's like a yeah. mega star, film yeah. star, someone that likes privacy. Like you said, it's on a private island. 
It's oh gated, my, yeah. you've got to be kidding me. That's the ma is, is that the master bedroom? That is the main bedroom, yeah. <gasps> Which is, it takes a whole, the whole wing, you know, of the house, the right wing of the oh house. Oh my God, and the step. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty um, Who designed it? Actually, the architect worked for Related, the Related Group, for yeah. many, many years. Who are very, um, very well known. Which are very well known. So yeah. somebody that had, of course, uh, uh, experience. Um, it's by, uh, it's not a known name, but it's someone that was working for Related and yeah. designed the interior of many it's houses beautiful. and buildings. It's really stunning. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, he also has... Uh, um, as I was telling you, he has a, a movie theater, he has a den, he has a library, and he has a studio with a walk-in safe. With a walk-in safe, yeah. The people think it's a panic room, but it's not. It's actually it's a, a walk-in walk -in safe. safe. Yeah, which is like a room. I didn't even know they existed, a walk-in safe. It's a walk-in safe. You've right? got to have a lot of goods to have a walk-in <clears throat> safe. Yes, I guess so, <laughs> My right? goodness. That's incredible. You must be so proud to be like it is, the listing agent for a house like this. It is actually uh, uh, it is a great feeling to show a listing like that. It, it is, yeah. It's also because he shows so well. And um, um, no one lives in it at the moment so it's it makes it easy to show to because show. you want to make sure that it's always impeccable but it's so exp it's so on such a, a level of luxury that i guess you're not going to have like you know showings every single day or no. or yeah we are, this is for a specific the buyer, client. yeah yeah because there's also a lot of people out there that are just curious yeah um I have a uh, lot most of, of most of miami i mean that's yeah. i get <laughs> i get it all the time i have people calling me and say oh my god i've been looking at the house for years and years and years i'm i've always been uh interested in seeing it inside is it possible to come see the inside and i'm like uh just out of curiosity yeah. no no you definitely know. not because the outside is beautiful uh, and the outside is so impressive can you can you see it obviously from, you from where you drive like when yeah when people drive past yeah you can. oh look at the outside staircase yeah. but also the landscape is impeccable so people are you know there's from when you're driving by you see how manicured everything is so people are like wow this uh, this house is it really has has the wow factor I, yeah, I would, it really does. I would give anything to 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 take yeah. a look inside. So absolutely, we need to qualify the client. Yeah. yeah, it's got two docks. One has a lift, and then the other one is um, because the owner had a eighty-five foot yacht and then a tender. So you right. can actually put one. Uh, oh one, you eliminate it and put one, and that is beautiful. He also has a security system uh, for the perimeter of the house, meaning there is someone. Uh, comes from the water, let's say he wants to come from the water, then he has uh, uh, spotlights and sirens that go off. Do you know that was a problem with North Bay Road when North Bay Road started? Uh, yeah. There was a lot of people that would come via boat to, yeah, to rob boat. and go, yeah, yeah, that's great. That's Wow, These thought islands of everything. Has, yeah, it's never had that problem, never. However, the, the owner of the house installed it years ago. Uh, probably because, you know, he, he was living there with the family, yeah. he was traveling, it's like, you know, if I'm not here, my wife is alone. I, I want to Yeah, of safe, course. So, I mean, you would, so yes, yeah. That. And yes, obviously that. money's not a problem. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to do all of that. Yeah, that's, yes. in, that's incredible. Yes, this is the outdoor kitchen that accommodates up to 15 people. Wow. So it's great for entertaining. Also, the outdoor, the outdoor area is, is I mean, this is as, as good as you get. Yeah. It really is. It's absolutely breathtaking. It's amazing. How do you feel, um, looking back at the market and knowing your experience, how do you think the market's going to go in Miami? Do you think it's going to go up, down? Do you think it's going to stay? Um, I think the market uh, will always adjust. We are going through a, a phase now that it's a bars market. But Miami, it's not. Um, the Miami market used to fluctuate a lot. And you know, it would go down and then it go up. Yeah. Tremendously, it go down again. It's not uh, subject to those huge fluctuation as before because um, there were two things that happened that uh, helped consolidate in the Miami market. The first thing was the crisis in 2008 yeah. with the subprime. So what happens is that um, while, while the American clients uh, kind of like uh, stopped buying because was that whatever was happening we had a um, huge wave of foreign buyers that were yeah. coming from brazil because at the time it was like a perfect storm at the time the brazilian economy brazil was the sixth biggest economy at the time so the the the, the brazilian currency was pretty strong 
and the euro especially was really strong so we had a lot of europeans yeah. and a lot of brazilians and south americans buying in miami and they were buying cash so they came in and bought all the properties that were you know yeah. foreclosure or or short sale or people they really wanted to sell because miami you know a lot of people had second and third and fourth home so when the economy is a little unstable the first thing that you do is you you sell your Absolutely. second or third home yeah. you know your yeah. primary residence and so those people finally uh, the foreign buyers uh, uh, arrived and bought all those properties cash so they helped consolidate in the market yeah. because all of a sudden now they actually own the property they yeah, didn't have a mortgage exactly yeah the second was the during the pandemic the people uh, all these uh you know people that came from new york california uh <laughs> but it was a a very so odd many. Yeah, target of buyers that arrived and they bought these properties and again there were cash buyers because there was uh, such low inventory and the demand was so high they but a lot of the times back then you couldn't get a mortgage they would they wouldn't couldn't. even accept a mortgage it you would couldn't. have to be cash yeah. buyers for like the icon for instance in brick hall yep they I only would allow them. cash buyers, yeah. And also, you know, it was such a strong seller's market that the sellers were like, you know what, it's either cash or nothing. Yeah. So all they arrived. Yeah. So those two things consolidated the market for sure. So now the Miami market is is, uh, is way less subject to this fluctuation. And when they happen, because they do have to take place, they're way more soft. Yeah. So Miami has a long way to go yet. You know, so the margin of growth are incredible because- That's amazing. Yeah, I agree. Because so many people are relocating to uh, Florida for tax reasons. So we are dealing with a lot of buyers. Yeah. Do you move. deal with any pre-construction? I just a I lot. just sold uh, some units in Cipriani, yeah, um, which I, has been yeah. really good. Actually, uh, I do because due to the fact that the, the interest rates are so high, a lot of people want to get into the real estate market anyway, but they don't want to close now because the interest rate are high. Yeah. So the timing uh, matches when you buy a real uh, uh, um, a piece of real estate in uh, and uh, pre-construction because by the time the pre-construction and the building is delivered in 2026 it's it's, it's 2027 doubled. but not only that the interest rate scenario yeah, exactly. would be completely different and yeah. if it's not that gives the buyer enough time to get the financing organized to divest their money so that if the interest rate are not good they can close cash but they don't have the rush that have to close cash in 30 days yeah so yeah i deal with a lot of a lot of I, mean, I know you said earlier you you were at 1428 brick hall isn't it beautiful it is beautiful and it's all and isn't it all italian the it was done by designed by antonio citterio who is italian every yeah. single material comes from Italy. So he actually uh, flew the whole sales team, the team to Italy. To, to, yeah, she told me that with the to, lady there, yeah. yeah. To pick and select, not only to pick and select the, the, the marbles and the faucets and all of that, but also so they could understand the handcraft, how they work, yeah. what the, the attention, the details. Well, the thing is, if when you're in house, and I did it briefly with Bentley in um, Sunny Isles, you have to really have a feel for it and know you what do. you're selling because it really doesn't exist yet. No, exactly. So you're selling a dream. You're selling a dream, exactly. And you know, with with these uh, showrooms, especially Bentley, you've got the pool there, you've got everything yeah. built out. But for me, the Bentley was hard to sell in Sunny Isles because every unit's three bedrooms. Yeah. It's more of a car yeah. uh, condo sort of building. A particular kind of buyer, yeah. for sure. A very pr and and, and uh, Gildeza, the, the developer, learned a lot from what he did in, with the Porsche, the Porsche, not having the sunken down swimming pools, now they're you know, put Downside. under. There's a lot, you, I mean, you, you learn from, but then again, Sunny Isles is, you know, it, not everyone wants to live there because nope. it's a, it takes a certain type of person to live there. Yeah. Every area has it really does its own audience. So let's put it that way. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Where's your kind of farming ground? Um, I've been living in South of Fifth for a long time. Twenty six years. I mean, it's the best place. And I've sold all those buildings in pre-construction. I can sell. Wow, Beach, Grande, that's Monopoly, amazing. You know, I myself live in the Continuum North, so I have always been farming that area. Yeah, and most of my listings are there. Um, and it's funny to live in a building that I've sold. You know, oh, I so. couldn't believe it. I yeah. can't, I mean, I've never done it, so it would be amazing. Yeah, I was the director of sales of uh, um, Ocean House, which is yeah. this beautiful boutique building, luxury building. Do you do rentals or do you just do sales? No, really, I don't. Yeah. Uh, don't. I focus on sales, but I do have a team of 14 people under me. And so I wow. have someone that focuses on rentals. Me personally, I don't, but I have in my team that, yeah. uh, that is cover. Yeah. yeah. And also my team who is excellent 
and they're excellent. I selected the team in a way that I have, um, I tend to assign a client to uh, one of the team members based on uh, the language, the background. For instance, yeah, that makes sense. I have a German client, so I say Mark is German. So not only does he speak the language, but he also, they click because of the culture. Uh, Vanya was uh, uh, from Switzerland. That would Switzerland. be me being English, being British. You, exactly. If you want another person on your team, maybe we can exactly. talk. Exactly. So we, <laughs> sp we cover pretty much all languages. I have yeah. two Brazilians. I have. That's uh, great. That's... Yeah. One just joined. They come from actually Burma. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. So, I mean, they come from everywhere. And then Is it India? Am I going to embarrass myself now? Yeah, no, no, it's right next to India okay. and Bhutan and, and uh, you know, Laos, yeah. all this area. Yeah, Southeast Asia. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so we do rentals. I personally don't, but I have someone who does it, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a totally different thing, sales and, and rentals. Completely, I yeah. typically don't do rentals either. Mm. I prefer sales. It's just, yeah. yeah. I mean, once we sell a property, uh, the clients said, listen, I'm going to buy, especially if it's a foreign buyers, but you have to help me rent it out. I'm not going to yeah. say no. I said, okay, of course I'll do it. Yeah. You know, but I ha I'd rather actually have someone in my team that specializes in rentals because um, you can't do everything well. I agree with you. You cannot. You need no. to focus on something. I'm glad you said well. that because some people really do think that they can do everything well. You cannot. <laughs> I you know cannot. you can't. It's impossible, especially in real estate. There's too much involved. Too much involved. So uh, this lady that is way better than me at doing rentals because she's so meticulous. She at the initial walkthrough, final yeah. walkthrough, she pays attention to everything. She notices everything for the walkthrough. She also screens the uh, the ten the potential tenant like like uh, she she should work for the FBI. She checks everything. <laughs> I love that. She checks that. everything before she puts a tenant in the property. But you know, they're getting now, now and now. I mean, even back in the day when I moved to Miami, you didn't have to have six months worth of rent in your bank account. Now you do. No, people You have to show that. it. People request A that. lot of them do. Majority yeah. of people do now. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them either. I mean, if I was renting out a home, I would want to know that someone, yeah. you know, can, can stay there. For sure, like yeah. I don't blame them. It's the more information you gather, the better it is, the more, you know, the the, the safer you feel because you, well, it, you it know. May, and it also makes you look very professional. Well, listen, I could talk to you all day. I'm so happy that you're on the show. I haven't met a Sicilian here in Miami. Uh, you're fabulous. I'm oh, learning you, a lot you from you. Me. And I would love to come and see your, your listing. Whenever you want. And please come back on the show. I would love Carla, to come Carla, thank back. you so much. Thank you for having and, me. And um, everyone, thank you for watching the Beach Channel, talking everything real estate. We'll be back soon. Bye-bye.